Okay, hey guys, um, welcome back to the channel, um, thank you guys for tuning in. I had a few questions on my Twitch stream regarding, um, I noticed a lot of people coming in asking like, how do I start drawing, where do I start? Um, it's a really, really, really good question. So I kind of want to make a little video and sort of help you guys out with it somewhat. Um, just in regards to where, where I start my process. I do a lot of high energy comic book art and, um, I think that's what a lot of people have questions about. So basically, the one thing that I'm telling people is, um, and I'm working in Clip Studio Paint, this program called Clip Studio Paint. I'm working on a Unova tablet, for those of you interested, it's a screen tablet. Um, but where I like to start with uh, with my stuff is, um, when, you're, when you're figure drawing and trying to draw a figure, I made a video about working with the uh, the basic shapes and these are things that everybody's probably gonna need to know these are things that I skipped out on uh, at an early age and it kind of did set me back right just learning how to have these 3d shapes um, and what I'm doing right now is drawing the the lines around the curvature of the shape so you know it's kind of 3d so this is kind of trains your brain in a way that you start thinking of things in three-dimensional forms and not just a square that's like this, right? Or a triangle that's like this, or a circle that's like this. Um, that's a, the world's worst circle. <laughs> that's the world's worst circle. But uh, what you're trying to do is get these things down. So this is gonna be one part of your fundamentals. Um, I made a video about this, go back and watch it. If you're not, I'm not gonna remake the video on it because I think I covered everything I need to cover with that unless you guys have specific questions on it now the thing that uh, I do want to cover next is going to be how do I start with my figure drawing and not just not just how do I draw a person for example um, I have a lot of these photos up right now these are free to use royalty photos underneath each of them are the names of the photographers so this is Jonathan Chang, uh, Matthew Lejeune, uh, Annie Spratt. Um, you can find these online for free. Um, but I want to give due credit to those photographers because they did an awesome job. What I first want to cover is going to be called your gesture line, though. Now, this is going to be really important in making your figures feel alive and have motion and have balance, too, as well. So you can draw your normal figure and draw just draw a stick figure. When you're just starting out, just draw stick figures. Don't don't worry too much um, about putting all those shapes on there at first. Because in this phase we're just gonna we're just gonna be covering gesture and we're gonna be covering balance. So the thing you want to look for, um, if those of you are familiar with like a plumb line. It's going to be a line that uh, people hang with a weight that measures balance. So in this standard facing forward pose or facing sideways pose, just standard facing pose, right? Your plumb line is going to run straight down you and it's going to balance you. This is going to be really important when you're making your gesture lines right later on that aren't are going to be are not going to be straight up and down. So we look for it right here and we run it to the ground, and um, that's going to be like where that weight distributes evenly on both sides. Now when we go into our gesture lines, what we're going to look for, we're going to start making lines like these. And these going to be these going to be the center lines of balance. Now these don't look like center lines of balance at first, but these are going to show the motion of the character. This is why I throw down before I throw any shapes down at all. I just throw these lines down. Um, before I throw anything 3D down, I keep it simple. Keep it very simple. All you're looking for right now is motion. Um, what you're going to do after that is that's that's when you're going to start throwing your shapes down. You're going to use this as a central guide point to tell you where the mass of your character is at, right? So if he's over here, this is going to balance out like this, right? And like I said, keep it simple. Just start with start with these stick figures and just keep things keep things super simple. Just fill up pages where you're throwing these gesture lines down and you're trying to balance that character in the middle. See no matter how much I move legs, I move arms, 
this character is balanced with that center line running straight down the middle of him, right? Something, something kind of crazy like this, even. Uh, I'm gonna go with a little bit fuller body. Feels kind of like a Spider-Man pose, right? But we have that center line there. Now, there's nothing pretty about this, but this is where you're going to learn to give your characters motion and give your characters energy and like I said more than anything give your characters balance the next phase you can do besides putting the 3d shapes on these guys um, is what I would recommend and this is a little thing I learned from an artist called Proko if you're not following him go check him out on uh, YouTube he is incredibly intelligent uh, in the way he breaks things down but one thing you can do that's sort of an easier way to learn than uh, trying to draw a full figure straight off the bat is take reference photos and draw over them. This is going to help in multiple ways. I'm going to show you guys how. So we're talking about just your line right now. We're talking about motion. Where Where is the plumb line on these? Where is that, that center of balance on these photos? When we come over here to this one, where is the center of balance on these girls? It's running down that spine, right? So how would I draw it? I would try to draw her like this. She's got this motion that's coming out, right? They've all got this motion that's coming out. She's a little bit leaned forward in the back. Um, so maybe it's like this, right? Maybe it's got that, that little bit of back and forth curve. So if they, spoke, they poke that chest out, they're running, they're going forward. Our simple way of expressing that is just kind of giving that line of action. It's pushing. It's, it's almost like there's wind behind this, just pushing it forward. Like it's, it's a board that's gonna break, you know? Same way with her, What's, what is her balance? Well, her balance point is honestly right here. But if I'm drawing her, where's her line of action? Where does the action run through? It, it's gonna run through her spine and then down here, right? So if I'm setting up that drawing, I'm setting up with this line that's going through it. Um, down here, these guys, not very much action, right? So we're just worried about balance. So we're almost just drawing that line straight up and down, which is going to bring us to our next point. If you, if you find your drawings are stiff like this, what is the difference between this and, and this right now? It's that line of action that goes through it, right? It is, that's what's making all the intensity. That's what's creating all that motion. Um, you see how, how much different those poses are. Even even more so, um, if you really wanted uh, like a even more aggressive running phase, you could throw your line of action um, and have them way bent over, right? Right, so these are, I mean, obviously quick stick figure drawings and stuff. Um, but you see, that's that's even maybe more intense. Er. <laughs> he ain't happy about it, but um, but there's there's kind of what you get. It doesn't have to be you know totally pushed over. We're just we're showing this. This is almost like a charging in uh, line of action. So it's going this. These, these lines that you throw like right at the start of a drawing, these are gonna almost tell you your emotion of a character, your your direction of a character, if they're hunched over, if they're proud, if they're, if they're sad, if they're uh, running from something or running to something. Think about those when you throw these lines out at first. Even when, when I'm drawing hands sometimes, um, I'll use that line of action uh, on just the fingers, right? Like I won't even put like the fingers in, I'll put the lines in. And then I'll come up with the fingers off the edges of it. So everything is just feels like it's got that motion to it. Um, this is what I see with a lot of artists and I know I suffered with it too, was just studying a lot of a lot of realism, um, a lot of textbook art, a lot of really stiff art, uh, and it just never 
really pushed me until I started doing these gesture lines and stuff. Um, like I said, with every part of the body you can do this. Once you graduate from just using one line like this, now you can see how um, she's got that line of action, but she's got these for her hands maybe, um, for her legs, you know. These don't need to be where you're defining like the joints and, and the hip bone and all this other stuff. These just need to be quick lines. Like what are these with these legs, right? So we get those zigzags going in there. Okay, so once you once you have that down and that's gonna that's gonna fill up sketchbooks for you. That's gonna fill up a lot of time. You're gonna be observing from life from that, right? Um, this is when we go back to starting to fill in the tubes and the big shapes with stuff. What you can do from that point on, and here we have, oh, here we actually have some examples of, of my own art I can show you guys. You see these lines, right? This is how I started drawing her. Even, even, even the hands, everything is kind of balanced there. Even the leg was just thrown out there, right? It's all thrown out there. I really should have pushed his chest out a little bit more and higher um, in hindsight, but you see like this line, she's going this way, right? Uh, stiff drawing, well, not stiff drawing, but a, uh, a typical character sheet pose. We balance them straight down the middle. But even within his hands, you have these lines, these gesture lines, they're just kind of thrown up. Even with the feet, we're kind of throwing them out there, right? We're trying to make that gesture within it, so it's not just stiff and boring. So then we move on to how do we fill out the shapes? Um, this is a, another good practice you can do with uh, different photographs where you don't have to actually draw the figure, you don't have to know all the figure stuff. Um, you just look at a photograph, and this is another Proco thing that I picked up. Um, you see all the names also here of the photographers. Anastasia Margos, Edgar Chaparro, and Alexander Reddle, I think. Um, awesome photographers. These are really great anatomy things. What I would do over these, if I'm really struggling, is this is where, this is where you start to pick your 3D shapes out. And you start to learn about, okay, this is a tube, this is that cylinder right here, this is that other tube. So we're now we're trying to put these things together. We're putting all these shapes together that basically we've learned about and we've drawn ourselves. But now we're seeing how they fit in the body, right? So now we're looking at it like that, very simplified. But it gives us a very clear indication of what's going on with the body and when we trace the contours over it, we can also see the different indentations of muscle, things like that. When we get to, uh, when we want to get a little bit more complicated, now we kind of go over the shapes of these muscles. And honestly, this would probably be great to go over with uh, more of an anatomically broken down piece of art. So we get all these muscles in here. Now we're breaking up the tricep muscle. Now we're breaking up the bicep muscle. Now we're breaking up these abs because we can see these abs. So we're drawing around those. And we're kind of learning these shapes that they make in the body. Right? So this is going to help our mind kind of learn about negative shapes as well. Um, we can still throw those lines too. That gesture line, that, that plumb line. Find that balancing point. Right, so now we're tracing over all of these different muscles and dentations, just kind of keeping to where we learn the form of the body. Then once we do that, we can break it down further. Um, back muscles for this are great. This is a fantastic photo, uh, black and white. We know we can see these muscles here, and it goes in here. Now. One thing we do with that is now we find the, the contours of it. Now we find the lay of the land, not just the shape of the muscle, but how does it, how is it shaped? How is it going to have light on it, right? It's going to be doing this. Right? Like it's going to have, it's going to be having those curves. And actually it should be up here. Um, but the shoulder, the biceps, like look for those stirrations where they break. And then we see 
we see why there's there's darkness right here because it curves down the light hits the top of it there's darkness here right because it curves down the shoulders not all in one shape tracing these muscles is going to help you see that you'll know every everywhere there's shadow that's where that down curve goes so even if we don't have all of it I believe these muscles curve back through here um, This is just little bits of practice, little bits of practice that help go a long ways. So these aren't breaking down individual muscles, how to draw this, how to draw that. This is showing you guys a whole toolbox of what you can be doing instead of saying, how do I draw hands, how do I draw shoulders? Those are all really important, but you have the photos online, right? Like you have the photos, you can learn from these. You can do this, you can draw over these all day. You can start with gestures, you can start with stick figures, and you can build up your cylinders and shapes. Um, don't be afraid to use these things. Uh, I know I know, it feels very daunting when you're starting art, and uh, you don't always know what to do or where to go with it, and you're looking at other artists that have done it for years like me, and you're wondering how we get the results that we do. A lot of it was just doing stuff like this um, over and over and over again, and learning like the lay of the land. Um, so I hope that helps you guys out a little bit. Uh, thank you very much for watching the video. Let me know in the comments section if you guys want any other tips at all. Uh, if you have any specific ideas, short videos I can make. If not, uh, I'd love to have you by the Twitch streams. I'd love to have you on Instagram, Twitter, um, TikTok. I'm trying to do lessons on there. So I would love to have you guys stop by and throw out suggestions or throw out comments if this helps you. Let me see your artwork that you're doing. Uh, let me see how you're improving. Just all that good stuff. Um, but until then, thank you guys. Keep practicing. Keep drawing. Everybody have a good night. Thank you.